James Robertson. You talked about transforming the internet into a business tool. Isn't the internet uh, a business tool already? Uh, I think good internets are a business tool, but I think the reality is if you look at the internet, there's four fundamental purposes. Content, communication, collaboration, and activity. The internet is a place of doing things. Now, most intranets actually focus just on content and communication. So, great, there are repository for policies and procedures, HR stuff, and, and, and they have corporate news. I mean, the kind of corporate blah, blah that we have to publish, but maybe no one reads. So, that's fine, but is that really helping the business deliver its services, helping customers, making the money, saving the money? So, I think, yes, good intranets are doing that. But many of the other intranets have yet to really deliver all the benefits that they can. So, so looking for places where you could improve people's lives, customers, if you may, what, what kind of tools uh, should we focus at? Well, I think the tools are irrelevant. So what I would say is, if you want to deliver an intranet that has business value, then get out from behind the desk. So go out into the organization and spend time with staff. Spend time in the call center, spend time in the factory, spend time out in the field with salespeople and just listen and watch. And then you will discover a hundred ways, often little ways, in which the intranet can help the organization, help individual staff, um, solve business problems, streamline processes, address points of frustration and bring information together in ways that's useful. And so it's actually about understanding the organization and then the business solutions become apparent. Hmm. You, you, you put forward kind of a roadmap to how intranet teams should go about this with uh, think small and uh, think in six month blocks. Yeah, I, I mean I think There's always a focus on delivering business value, but often it's seen that that's a, a million dollar project. You've got to go off and buy some big piece of software. There's got to be some major IT project to deliver that solution. But actually, as I said, a lot of the solutions can be quite small. And I think a good discipline for intranet teams is to say, we should be delivering something new each and every six months. Now that might not be much. I mean, if the intranet team is one or two people, then you're not going to solve all the world's problems. But if you pick the things that you do really carefully, then those can have impact on the organization. They can deliver business benefits, but they can also help position the intranet team to get a bit more resources. Then in the following six months, they can actually deliver bigger solutions. And so it's actually about the steady, incremental, evolutionary delivery all the time of new capabilities. So the internet is moving forward, not just pedaling on the spot. You put an emphasis on activity mm. and solving you know, tasks in everyday work. Mm. There's also a lot of focus on Web 2.0 or social mm. media uh, technologies. How do you, do you think that fit in? Because that might mm. interlink in, in what people are doing every day. Uh, Yeah, you know, supporting the networks and and so on. What is your take on, on on all those new trends? I think it's really interesting. So, to this point, we spent a lot of time on software and delivering uh, enterprise solutions that manage information, and that's great. But we've kind of forgotten that the organization is made up of people, and that actually work gets done through the connections between people. So, I work out how to do something because I go and talk to Bob who's been here 20 years and he knows how to do it. But I have to find Bob. What if I'm a new person in the organization? I don't know anyone. So a lot of the real work in organizations happens through the interaction between people and yet the systems that we've designed didn't recognize that at all. And so the big innovation I think for the web 2.0, the enterprise 2.0 side of things is that it's recognized that maybe we should help people talk to other people and maybe that is where some business value comes. Now we're still learning how best to do this, it's still early days. Mm. But I think anything we can do 
to help build those connections, to support them, to grow them, is going to be effective in organisations.